Hello everyone, this is Kona, and thank you for tuning in to another TF2 commentary. Now, like most gamers, I play a variety of games. I don't just stick to TF2 or first-person shooters. I like to play different genres of games to, you know, keep things interesting. I've been playing an MMORPG called Terra, which is a very fun action-based game. And also, Dota 2. I gotta have a MOBA, right? So, of course, I'm gonna pick Dota 2. Now, I've noticed something interesting while playing these games, and more specifically, playing these games for kind of a long time, investing a lot of hours into them, and it's how these gaming companies have different approaches to making their game interesting and fun, and, you know, getting people to actually play their game, and in some cases, getting them to actually invest money into it. What I've noticed a lot about these new games is that they have some sort of progression system, some sort of way of saying, hey, you need to do more in this game, and it actually keeps track of your progression. Now, in MMORPGs, this is kind of, you have to do this. This is kind of part of the whole genre, is gathering stuff, getting better gear and stuff like that, and I do understand that. But coming from a first-person shooter background, this seemed kind of weird, and now you see a lot of the most popular first-person shooters, ones like Call of Duty and Battlefield, oh boy, Battlefield, they're adopting some sort of progression system to keep people interested in the game and keep their game alive. I sort of understand why developers want to put this type of progression into their games because you know, players like to feel that sense of accomplishment. This is one of the reasons why we like to play games. In fact, I kind of learned this through a really interesting video uh, from Vsauce that explains why we like to play games. Oh, by the way, here. I thought I could totally juke that demo man and I was like, I got this guy. And I accidentally stepped too far and <laughs> fell off the cliff. But yeah, MMORPGs like Terra rely on this leveling up system and this whole gaining experience, like actual experience points, and getting better gear, and it kind of requires the developers to constantly create new and better gear for people to obtain. Now, I've noticed that this is sort of mentality has carried over to some first-person shooters, but I'm very glad that my favorite first-person shooter TF2 seems to have very little or perhaps no leveling or progression at all. Now there is the idea of obtaining new weapons in TF2, I'll give you that. But a lot of these weapons don't give you like a really clear advantage over everyone else. And honestly with a drop system you'll eventually get it. But TF2 seems to have this sort of magical thing about it that makes this game just so much fun and it makes people coming back for more. And that's the only thing. And, oh, by the way, if you're wondering why I didn't destroy this teleporter, that's why! <laughs> I just wanted a taunt kill or something like that. But yeah, I've noticed that TF2 and even the first games that I used to play on PC online, things like Counter-Strike 1.6, uh, Medal of Honor Out of Assault, and even Halo on the PC, these games had... I don't think any progression at all. I mean, they had different guns that you could get, but really, there was no leveling system. And I kind of like that, because it shows that the game is just has fundamentally fun, and it's fundamentally it's going to keep people coming back because of just something unique that it has. And it's not some sort of progression system, which I feel like these newer games have. If you played, like, I guess the new Call of Duty, I, haven't, I don't actually have the new Call of Duty, but I heard the grind is really tough. But I have the new Battlefield, <laughs> and in the new Battlefield, boy, it's taking forever to level up and to get max level. I mean, it, it's it's kind of nice that it gives you XP boost. We haven't heard of XP boost in, <laughs> in first-person shooters, but now they exist. You know, there's still a really long grind to get all of these cool guns that I just want to try out. I just want to try it, <laughs> and I have to try so, I have to play so long just to get the gun, and most of the guns actually are kind of crap when I finally get enough experience points to unlock it. It's like, wow, all that grinding, and it's not that good. <laughs> but yeah, it seems like for these newer games, they like to build some sort of deep progression system into their game so that it keeps players coming back for more. It keeps them, I guess, it keeps them more invested in the game because, you know, now you have something that actually keeps track of how much you've progressed through, how many items have you obtained, or you know, how many how many stuff have you unlocked. You know, it keeps track of that kind of stuff. And now it's really hard to just say, oh, I'm gonna stop, and I'm gonna play something else. You know, I feel with TF2, even though we do have items in TF2, it's really easy to jump in and out of games. It's a very casual game for fun, and yet it's very popular. Whereas other games, even MMORPGs, you have to invest hours and hours and hours into the game, and you just feel like you, you can't get out because you feel like, oh, if I ever leave this game, 
Uh, all that leveling, all that progression that I worked for, you know, it seems like a waste if I just leave. Now, for me personally, I would love to see more games in the future have little to no progression system at all, because I feel like if, you, if your game is popular and you have very little progression, that means there is something about your game, some sort of core fundamental idea or game mechanic about your game that gets people to come back just because it's fun, not because the game is telling you, oh, well, you need to obtain this item or this achievement or you need to level up to get this. Nothing like that. If you can get people to play your game simply because it's fun, I think you got something special there. And a lot of these new genres, or at least new genres to me, like MOBAs, something like Dota 2 is just a lot of fun. Now, some of these games also have stuff like ELO to keep track of your level, and I actually think that's a pretty interesting idea because it keeps people about the same skill level playing together. You know, it ranks them and makes it interesting all the time. Now my question for you guys is, do you like playing games with a deep leveling system with, you know, achievements and unlocks and all that stuff? Or do you like to play games where there's really no achievement to go for, you just kind of play it and have fun? Or both? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you very much for watching, and have a nice day.